Hey guys, we're back over at Arch today. The radiator went to leaking on the 58 Chevy and we just got it out. And we got some questions. Any of you 58 Chevy guys, tell us what's going on, why the fan got into this lower right side of the radiator because the water pump shaft seems tight as can be. It's not wobbling at all. And that wasn't the funnest thing to take out. So, but anyway, we, we're gonna take this radiator to the shop and I wanna, we got another gift in the mail a while back actually from Art and we haven't been over here, or for Art. Well, actually it was addressed to me and Art, but I figured that meant that it was for Art. Oh, it's got a note with it. Oh yeah, there's a uh, 50 brochure. That's the same, the yeah. same. There is in the spring this year. It's got air bellows showing. Oh, it's uh, it's about the air ride. Yeah. <laughs> Let's and see, who sent that to us? That's on here. Well, might. John Grohl. Grohl, G-R-O-L-L. -L. Let's we'll see, where, he's, where is he from? Baldwin, Missouri. Similar to his car as it looks to be colonial cream and has a air expansion. This ad is actually from Canada and I don't believe ever ran in the USA. Wish it was better shape, loved, better shape, loved wa watching you and art. Sure, wish there were more arts in the world well please give to art next time you see him take care well that was nice yeah and you got one similar like that from dave didn't you another poster like that from dave that sent you the tractor too i think it was the chrysler he that's what it was it was your grandpa's chrysler yeah i seen on the facebook I had a 48 Chrysler on there. I didn't come equipped today, guys, with filming equipment. <laughs> um, scoot that out of the way. Um, about that. Pretty neat, isn't it? Talks mm -hmm. about the air ride. Yeah, there's your air tank and your air bellows. And... We didn't have very nice things to say about that air tank a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> Shit to get the radiator out. That's real. <laughs> yeah, uh, this was the worst radiator we've ever had to take out. Yeah, I've took a lot of them out, but never. I didn't have that air ride. Tank. See, that's dated January seventeenth. That's how long it's taken me to get back over here. <laughs> that, that, <didn't laughs> well, well, actually, you know, I brought that over. It's okay, guys. Art and Judy celebrated their sixtieth wedding anniversary, so please. Put in the comments, wish them a happy 60th wedding anniversary. We had a big party. Their daughters put a big party on for them. And we come over, and well, me and my parents did, and I brought that, and I, we were, I was going to do something then, but I thought, there's way too many people here and way, way too much noise. Way too, you know, I've been March 2nd, so. Yeah, yeah, I was going to bring it over here then, or I did bring it over, but there was such a crowd and so much noise, and you were so occupied talking to everybody that I didn't want to. Pictures, had to take pictures. Yeah, so I just yeah, brought, took it back home because I knew I'd be back over here. It'd be something to show people, you know, when they, you say air ride, they right away think it's shocks. Right, yeah, a lot of people <laughs> don't believe that it, that it came that way. Yeah, that's... That's something. I can show them the picture and then show them the shocks. Yep. So thank you very much, John. We appreciate yeah, that. Appreciate that. Yeah, that was nice of you. That's colonial cream color too. Mm-hmm. One don't believe that they come with that color. I know a lot of people <laughs> did speak up, saying that it didn't come. This color wasn't available, but it's in the brochure and it's right there. Yeah. Um. I'll show you guys this air tank for the for the air ride. We had to get this all unbolted and moved over to the side and the voltage regulator and everything to be able to to get that out and it wasn't fun. No. 
but, extension I was done for them. Yeah, he, he Art started this on Saturday by himself, but it, it ate one of his extensions and we found it when we got it out. Yeah, that panel <laughs> underneath. And like I said, I didn't bring any filming equipment. I didn't bring any microphones or anything because I left all my stuff over at the junkyard last week and I had to call them and tell them to put it up for me until I get back over there. I My tripod and, and everything is back over at the junkyard, so... Yeah, I think all of that with the 58 Chevy. What's that? Oh, that brochure. Gonna put it with all the 58 Chevy yeah. stuff? Yeah. Well, I guess the damage is done. Yeah, I hope we can put it back together. <laughs> I don't know why that uh, weight of the core. What happened, guys? Art started his cars, just let him run a while, and it, what did you come in the house for a little bit or something? And yeah. about 15 minutes went back out there, and there was antifreeze all over the floor. No, it's cut. The... And you know, I know even when we started on this, that that fan wasn't touch. It wasn't into that, so I can't. And everything was tight. All the radiator bolts and everything were tight, so I I can't figure out. So all right, 58 Chevy guys. Let us know what you think. Why did the fan get into this radiator like that? Because the water pump shroud is, or the water pump shaft isn't wobbling at all. It just, it, it's good as can be. In fact, I even got a water pump in case we needed it and then got it over here and it's not the right one anyway. Oh, I didn't know why it was because uh, I got, got it uh, with some back of the Chrysler and I just start, started up. We'll get the oil changed, but that, that has really... Yeah, it's been into it, so... Yeah, I guess we'll just take it there and... Yep, we're going to run this over to Effingham, Illinois, to a radiator shop and drop it off and see what they can come up with. And then when we put it back in, we'll uh, just have to watch really close. Yeah, it had spacers on each side, putting it back towards the the fan even more. We may leave those out. I don't know. Well, maybe the top ones need two of them. Well, it's got three bolts on each side, and then it, the, the spacers were in the top two bolts, weren't yeah. they? So that would have kept the, the bottom away from yeah. the fan, and it hit the bottom. So I'm not sure what to think. Okay guys, we're here with Paul at the radiator shop and we've come to the conclusion now that we've looked at this, that's the shroud has been rubbing on this, not the fan. So we're gonna have to space that shroud out away from it or else just grind a little bit off. That, you can see that spacer was right there that was holding it away from it anyway. It, it was on it. But, but that's what it was, it was the shroud, not the fan hitting it, so. Paul's going to get it fixed up in a day or two. We'll get back over here, get it picked up, get it put back in the car, and we'll go from there. Sound good? Yep, sound good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now we are in Teotopolis, Illinois, just outside of Effingham at Willenborg's Reconditioning. This guy says he can dye the seats in the station wagon, the jump seats and those rear side panels and even take care of that top on the LTD. How are you? Kyle? Yes, sir. Tony? Nice to meet you. How I sent you? you some pictures of some station wagon jump seats. Yeah, did you see them? Oh, I remember you. How are you? How you been? Okay. Crippled. No, now. Still working on cars? Yeah. We're really working on one today. Yeah. It's 58 Chevy. Major surgery pulling that radiator out of there. That's probably a chore. It was. It's got that air ride suspension with all that compressor and that air tank and everything right there. By golly, I didn't know you had the old shop here. Yeah, we moved from the house, behind the house, built this, and this is the cool thing. I've seen some pretty impressive pictures. I like what you did that Lincoln. Yeah, that one was, it sat outside. It was, 
in a barn until 88 and then they moved it outside underneath the tree um, like shortly after 1988 and it sat with a had like a tarp on it but that was about it and it was full of mice and mice. he even got the mice smell out of it yeah we have an ozone machine that we ran through and got rid of all that and, oh yeah Machines I tried, I think left it in. I forget what it was, musty or something. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. What are you doing? These things, uh, ceramic four, coat. Forerunner just got ceramic coated, and this one we uh, just washed and are getting it ready. Uh, tomorrow we'll do all the coating on it. So. so you're having pretty good luck with that dye, huh? Yep. Yep. Did you check out those pictures I sent you, or yes. did you even know I sent you? Yes. The, today you sent me. Something? Yeah. I got these rear jump seats for the station wagon yes. and they're brown and they need to be that jade green. Yeah, we can probably do that. Do you see them? Yep. And then the side panels, yeah, there's four sections, you know, and then those rear side panels are faded up on top right here. So yep. these side panels I can bring to you and they just need to be re-dyed. Yeah. That, yeah. that jade green. How do you match the color? So on that, we order from something like that year, we order from, uh, I'm trying to think what company it's called. If it's Legendary, Legendary has like interior dyes, like four, and then we'll go back through the years and then color code or VIN tag, you pull the interior trim off the VIN, stuff like that. It's better than that Sims? Yeah. Really? He said when he dyes that stuff, it's not coming off. Like even a vinyl top, if he dyes it, it's not coming off so unless like, you acid wash it. That Lincoln we did, uh, the top on it was real chalky, real nasty, with all white dye. It looked awesome yeah, he's in the pictures. Probably, he told me he's washed it probably 25 times already. And I asked him how he's <laughs> doing, he said just fine. So. Yeah. Well, my cars may get washed once a year, if that, because yeah. they just don't set out yeah, or go anywhere. Big nice 78 Chrysler in there. The panels, band instruments, they yep. didn't get closed. And yep. On them. Yeah. yeah, so I can I just bring them seats and those parts over yeah, here and just drop you, them off to you? The parts, my wife's usually in there and she'll get your information all that. Awesome. You married too? Oh, yeah. Goodness married with three sake. kids. And Good. <laughs> <laughs> I lost track. Oh, yeah. This was a kid. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> Seen Cody's new shop? No, I haven't been inside it. I went by it. But what's he do? He's uh, like the number one remanufacturer for side by side Polaris engines. Oh, that's right. Cases, yeah. Transmission stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why he moved? It? That's expensive. That big shed out there. He's got a full. <laughs> he's got a full. Well, he's got the deal in Florida too. Yep. Yeah, he's got a shop down there. I think. The workers. So they're, they're about ready to do expand already. He's oh, got it full he too. Some three. That's quite the light system you got up there. Yep. Makes it super easy, like for paint correction, any scratches, swirls, stuff like that. Like I have this, help. this truck's got around 3,000 miles on. This one only had 700 miles on it. It was all scratched up from factory, either factory. When they're putting it together, we're scratching it, or uh, what we call the scratching it car washes. The car washes with the brushes play how. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Any yeah. clear coats. I helped Cody put that in his first shed, that floor. The floor. Oh, yeah. Poor, you know, in this. Well, On the Jefferson Street building. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, I had to polish all them rings. It's a chore. Yeah. That's I don't know if he still uses them or not. He still got them. What's and the main thing you do? Do you so we do? Do you paint correction and stuff too? We do paint correction, ceramic coating, um, spray and bed liners. Uh, like over there, in that side of the shop, we detail, uh, do full details inside and out. Um, 
I travel, uh, I got my work van, it's set up, I do mobile reconditioning, so go to dealerships, do paint touch-up rock chips, paint bumpers, stuff like that. Well, he said he can even fix my, that cigarette burn in the back of that LTD. Like and, and even seams. stitch it because it's right in a seam. He said he can even stitch it and said stitch to both sides. Basically, right where that seam is, we'll just stitch both sides and suck them shut. So hmm. it shouldn't be no big deal. Oh, I can't believe that. I told uh, Tony that that sound Kyle. I, you know, that's Tony's younger brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or Cody's. Yeah. Cody's. Yes. yes, sir. Good grief! I tell you, you got the market then huh so that what's funny is I, I called interstate motors and i said do you guys still have anybody that comes around and fixes you know cigarette burns right. and and does touch up and vinyl repair and stuff like that and he said no not really but i know a guy yeah. so he told me about you and then we talked yeah. like just one day what two weeks ago and then yeah and then that saturday this guy was out there spreading stuff all over the fields and when I got, I got, I was cutting wood. When I come back, he come over to the house. He said, hey, I just left a message on your phone. I said, well, I've been over at the neighbor's cutting wood. And, and uh, he said, what are you doing all these Lincolns here? I need a wiper switch. I said, well, I'm sure I've got one you can have. And then he started showing me pictures and telling me who did it. And I said, I just talked to that guy last week. And I I seen that car before. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because St. Peter Auto Body contacted me and wanted to know if I was interested in that car. I said, no, I don't want that mouse-filled thing. And I can't believe the difference that you, right. that you did on that thing. Yeah. Did you wet sand it? And yeah, we basically wet sanded the whole car. Uh, did like 1,500 grit, 2,000, 3,000, all the way up to 8,000. And then did a three-step polish on it. So Good. Looks brand new. For this is 78. The best we could do for 1978 paint job. That's yeah. That's what sure. A Lincoln Town Coupe. <laughs> it, was, it was rough. Now, I didn't even know he was in that kind of business. Yep. I've been doing this for about 10 years now. 10 years? Yeah. Can't give it up. I'm, it's bred into me, the cars. That's just <laughs> corrupt, brainwash, whatever. You I know the it. feeling. <laughs> yeah. I tell my dad all the time, he could have got me into a cheaper hobby. <laughs> well, I tell you what, I'm I'm out of that hobby almost. I still got ten cars, but my old knees won't take it anymore. Age or get to you. Oh yeah, I feel it all the time. <laughs> well, this yeah, you're doing exactly what I did on this concrete all these years, and my back and legs hurt me so bad all the time Walking, now. Walking, crawling. <laughs> yes, sir. And I just told him when I go to the junkyard, I used to be able to just slither through them cars like a snake. And now I got to think about how I'm going to get out of the floor. <laughs> you're going to crawl what you're going to get on a creeper. I had this knee replaced, and it took two years before I could even use it. But the trouble is, this right knee needs to be replaced. But they want to do my collarbone. I don't all that polishing yeah, and yeah. waxing I done. I wore out the cartilage. Oh shit. So now they say I gotta get this shoulder done before I get this other Big knee done. <laughs> I tell you, it's oh yeah. Got Tony to help me. That helped. Yeah. It was that was the hardest radiator ever had to take out of a car. Yeah, it's most. Yeah. So. Well, Kyle, I'll be in touch. Right. It's good meeting you. Yep. Good meeting you guys. It's well, good it's, seeing you, Art. Yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> it is. I don't make it over there as much as I used to. I'll stop by sometime. Yeah, do that. There it is, guys. He's the one that's going to fix me up on dyeing the seats for the wagon. So we'll probably wrap this video up here for today. I'll probably wait to post it, though, until we start putting the radiator back in. All right, we're back at Art's. I don't know if we can step on that, bend that. That looks like that bend. Yeah. Well, you know, you could just... We've decided this this little raised section yeah. right here is what's been rubbing right. into that radiator all this time and just vibrating. Yeah. It finally started leaking. So really, I think we just take a pair of channel locks or something and just bend it back. I don't know. Or grind it off. What about that? That fan... Yeah, like, and you can see here the fan has been rubbing yeah. on this on the side towards the engine and maybe that's what's been making it vibrate but it's yeah. just so strange we never heard that but this this something just moved after all these years yeah. i guess and 
and we just didn't hear it when we were doing yeah. videos on it and stuff. Because really, you haven't had it out, have you? No. Since we did videos last summer. It sat all winter. Yeah, I don't know if that's, if I can bend that. Pretty tough. <laughs> but that, we'll just have to pay a lot closer attention to yeah, it when we put it back in. That's been rubbing near that fan. It dang sure has. That's probably yeah. The, yeah, the, see the fan's way away from the radiator. Yeah. It it is definitely that raised section right back there that's been yeah. touching that radiator. Kind of goofy why that's there like that anyway. Yeah. Wonder why they extended those out right there into the radiator. We'll just take a grinder and just get rid of them. Yeah. That way, it just but don't that have to worry there, about it. That fan blade, that showed where it was rubbing on that. Yeah, for sure. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. I think we'll go ahead and do a video on this, and then we'll come back and do a part two when it comes time to put it back together. Oh, Lord. <laughs> That's going to be a job. Yeah, as, as fun as it was taking it out. It'd be easier, you know. Just putting it back in to get everything lined up. See, we're sitting pretty low on the ground too, yeah. with the air, with the air ride is all you know the air's all leaked out of it because it's set all winter and it, what's you say it takes about 15 minutes to pump yeah. up all the way then it holds pretty good. Yeah. But. But it only lasts for a week and then it starts. Yeah. Well, it don't help you know all winter it was so cold yeah. you know just like a tire it loses more air when it's cold. So. All right, guys, we're going to wrap this one up, and we'll do a part two when we get her put back together. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.